One thing about the Yaki straight texture, it's always going to serve. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous and it radiates, especially for women of color. I've teamed up with Ndadula Hair. They sent this beautiful 7x5 bye bye knots put on and go glueless yakky straight wig with kinky edges i'm going to be sharing a start to finish straight out of the box install you're also going to see how i style this two different ways this one is absolutely beautiful effortless and again very easy to install so if you want to see how i got this look keep on watching Jumping right into it, this is the wig straight out of the box. As I mentioned, we're going for a 24 inch 7x5 bye bye knots put on and go. This one has kinky edges, and of course, I'm going to be giving you all the details. Here's a close up of those yakky edges, as well as a look at the inside construction of the cap. This one has pre cut lace, pre bleached knots, pre styled everything. I'm also showing you guys the back of the wig, and this is what she looks like on. She's already preset as a bust down middle part. She's nice and full the wig fits nice and snug to my head and i'm also giving you a very very close-up detail look at those edges you can see here that you don't really need to do much as far as the install goes because it fits super flat also i wanted to share with you guys that you can definitely switch up the parting this is what it looks like as a side part as well as a curved part as you guys seen in the intro we are doing a center part and a curved part in this video for a little bit of versatility so let's go ahead and get started on the install process first i kind of pull the hair back and i'm just playing with those kinky edges i really wanted to see what we were working with and how we could go about installing this one glueless while also executing those edges and making them slay for the gods so first of all pull them apart and separate so i can see how much i have sometimes they come extremely dense so you'll have to like tweeze out a lot luckily for us today they are very very compact so we don't have a lot to do so i'm just going to lay a little bit of um an extra hold hairspray down so that we can melt the lace now this one fits glueless but because we have those edges and we want to go in and make them look super slayed i feel like going ahead and melting the lace is going to help to really really achieve that look now that we've got them melted and we did blow dry on a cool setting i'm going to go ahead and kind of comb out any product that may build up in them and then we're going to use the comb to kind of like pull them straight and then trim them a little bit shorter now you can keep them long but this just is going to make it look a little bit more natural if we trim them a little bit shorter and then i did slightly tweeze them not too much but just enough so that it looks like you know it's coming out of the scalp next i'm going to take my edge control from bdecbd.com and i did go in generously with this product simply because this is a more um how do you say it like curly coily texture so it definitely is going to need a little bit more product to be tamed and i'm just taking my time and playing with the edges to see what we wanted to do you can see that i pulled them all forward and kind of like swoop them a little bit and then i'm going to put the melt belt on and then later we can go ahead and just customize them even more to make them super perfect while the melt belt does its job let's go ahead and do the dynamic duo along the parting space this here is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb i go in on a 500 degree setting and really get it super 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 flat it was already flat but this definitely gives the wig like a nice finished look and it makes everything sleek and cancels out any frizz in the meantime now now we're done with that step that was the perfect time to melt the hairline down you guys can see visibly that made a huge difference so mainly all we have to do from here is tint the lace up to make sure that everything marries together i did go for the ruby kisses 3d mineral foundation this is a compact that i get from amazon it's about six bucks and i do get it in a contour shade which is a shade or two darker than my own complexion and then once i did finish with that contour powder i did realize it did kind of have like a cast to it so i went with the complimentary cream foundation foundation just to warm it up a little bit and that definitely worked in my favor now i did take a little bit of a hairspray and this is a light hold hairspray and i kind of put a light amount along the hairline just to kind of do my little soup and waterfall to the hair to really really set off the hairline and now i feel like we're done like you can literally stop here but i do want to show you how it looks when you go ahead and silk press it i did take my ogx heat protectant and go in kind of light and brush it in now we can go in with a flat iron this one I'm, i've been trying out it is an off brand from amazon it's nice and affordable so i'll have it linked in the description box and you guys can see it didn't make a huge difference considering the hair was already straight but it did soak the hair out so now it's like it's falling off the bone it's super super silky whereas the other side is still nice and straight but that silky touch really does turn your hair up a whole notch now that we've got that done you guys can see this is a beautiful look it's very simple easy and low maintenance but i do want to give you guys options so let's go ahead and do a curved side part just so you guys can see more than one way to style your wig 
So for starters, I just take my rat tail comb and I just go in and make a deep curved parting. Once I got it how I like it, I did go in with that dynamic duo once again. You definitely don't want to use this much wax on your hair in one day, but because I did two different styles in one day, I did definitely switch up that parting and needed to add a little bit more of that product to make it lay super flat in this style as well. And again, I do use a very high heat setting on that electric hot comb. So you can definitely do this step on a wig head. It would definitely make a huge difference. And now that the hair is going in a different direction, I just went in with the flat iron again to make sure that everything was smooth for this new hairstyle. And voila, that was simple and easy. So literally you can go from day to night and switch your hair up literally that quick. This one would also look beautiful with some big body curls. They probably would drop, you know what I mean? Because this is more of a yakky texture. But again, it would give that that big loose body curl look for a very nice fun natural day out and then I went ahead and re-added some lace tint to the new parting that I chose now it's been a few days and I've been rocking this wig glueless I wanted to show you guys how I curled this one this has been my favorite style with this wig I'm using a con air wand curler and I picked this up from Target super affordable maybe about 25 bucks of course you guys know I have it linked in the description box and I just did medium sized pieces all over. I did not use any like um, hairspray throughout the curling process but I did use an extra hold hairspray. This is what it's like when you curl one side and then I did the opposite side off camera. Once all the curls were done I did add a flexible hold hairspray from Bedhead and this is how they came out. The silkiness of the hair did remain and then of course you guys can see the yakky texture is giving a super duper pop also if you are intimidated by the curly edges you can definitely use a little bit of edge control or wax to kind of pull them back that way they give a little bit more of a natural vibe so now you have three different ways to wear your wig and we are done so i'm going to show you guys the packaging and what they included i love this translucent or holographic bag it's a nice little tote my girls each have one of their own and i love these because they're very convenient and, ha and handy as like a to-go bag when you're leaving the house to throw things in they also included the dust bag as well as this mesh bag in the mesh bag we did get these hd wig caps as well as a melt belt we also got these bomb bomb press on nails they look like french tip and they're absolutely perfect they also gave us the elastic band and another pack of wig caps so we did get two packs of wig caps and then we also got two melt belts so that was super nice and very very generous the next thing they included was the detangling brush and then they also included a robe here are those peel and stick adhesives they say bye bye knots on one side they did include a generous amount so you'll be able to bond your wigs down without any glue but this is definitely an easy way for an, a nice install okay so really quickly I'm going to show you how to do it just tear them apart individually here i started to peel it but don't peel it first pretty much separate the pieces like this first they're nice little strips once you get your strip how you want it they are double-sided so peel off the back side first lay it on your lace once you have it pressed in you lay that back part off and then you see it will be super duper sticky it's not going anywhere these are a nice super duper great grip and a great option especially as the warmer seasons are coming you'll be able to add this to your lace and not have to bond it down it'll definitely stay down with no glue and that is pretty much it my loves thank you guys so much for sticking around you can find all the details as well as a direct link in the description box thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and share with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches